Good morning, everyone. It's Tom. It's uh, Saturday morning, and I am back um, at the spot that I hunted the other night. We had really had an ideal situation about two inches of rain yesterday, which was Friday, um, with some heavy downpours. And so, you know, I just there's a, some other places I haven't looked, but I just had to get back out here just to make sure. Um, I haven't found much, you know, some broken pieces. That's a thumb scraper there on the bottom left. You know, a crude one right there, a tip of one. And <clears throat> but I am finding flint that was not exposed the other night. Here's a again I'll just film this tip of a really colorful piece here. Kind of serrated. Yep. So Yep, again, I know some people may not have returned here after looking at it, but, you know, there's one that was right on top that was exposed by all that rain. So, we'll see what happens. Um, I've got some other places in mind today. Uh, if I find anything else out here, I'll get back to you. Okay, I'm back. Um, back on the main side here. Didn't find anything else. Just another broken piece over there plowed field. So back on the main site, again we've had considerable rain. Dark point. Yep. Nice little complete point. Nothing too fancy. But it's another find. Okay, well, we'll see what else the uh, rain washed off here. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I've got something partially exposed here on the ground. Um, can't quite make out what I'm looking at, though. But I don't think that's a fooler. I mean, if I had to guess, I'd say that there's a little indentation here, and this goes up to maybe a point. Yeah. Hmm. Probably a preform. Looks like it was all ready to to be notched. There's a little bit of a tip thing there, I think. I can't tell if that's worked that way. Probably a tip ding. Hmm. Interesting. Well, Again, that's something the rain uncovered because I looked this pretty close the other night, about three rows at a time, so I was looking at pretty tight. All right, if I find anything else, I'll get back to you. Okay, this is kind of interesting. I wanted to show you this. Um, nothing, right? Just a uh, common stone, break out of it. I don't know what made me come over here and pick that up. You can see where it came out of. Check this out. I think that's some sort of a tubular banner stone. I don't think it's a pipe. Sorry. Looking at it and not looking at my viewfinder. It's that, okay, yeah, it's that red slate like that, uh, like the two pieces of that gorket I found out here. But it is definitely drilled. Smashed all to bits. But, um, yeah, I think that's a two banner stone, two little banner stone. Wow. Again, I just, I'm not sure why I came over and looked at that, because I just saw this part right here and caught the color. Well, I'm going to wash that up when I get home and give you a better look at it. I'll get back to you. Okay, well, I'll just give you a quick look here at uh, what I found <clears throat> this past weekend at that, uh, at that site. Um, my good site. So... Um, Here's that, I'm going to call it a preform 
tip broke off. I'm not sure what it's a preform of. You know, these are the points that I've found on that site. You see a lot of stemmed points, you know, some Adena and some Hopewell. Um, so I'm not quite sure what that was intended to be. Um, here's that little dark point. broke. I don't think I filmed this one um, bifurcate a LaCroix or something. Um, I only have one other bifurcate point off that site. It's that one right there. So there were, it was definitely a multicultural site because that's a little bit older. Um, and then obviously the, um, what I'm going to call a piece of a banner stone. Um, you know, when I saw it on the ground, I did not um, identify it as slate. Um, I mean, I caught a little bit of the color, and for some reason, I just it was laying just like that, flipped it over, and um, this was all packed full of dirt, and I saw this here. I thought, wow, that's um, strange. And then the more I looked at it, the more I realized what I had. But it is a... Um, it's red banded slate. Obviously shattered into a lot of pieces, but still a pretty cool find. Um, you know, this came, you saw this, this came off the site the other night. Still think it's cool how that is marked. You know, you guys can tell me I'm crazy. Part of me wants to take one of those drills right there, that were found within 20, 30 feet of that thing, and finish that guy's hole. He marked it for me. He left it for me. He even left me the drills. But I know a lot of people would be disappointed if I uh, did something like that. Uh, so the other slate that I found on that site, um, I don't know if I've shown you this. Um, you can see this has two small holes. I don't know if my camera's focusing. Kind of odd. There is, I don't, I mean this seems smooth right here. I don't think that's broken. Um, again, a lot going on, but it's such a small piece it's, it's kind of hard to tell what what that was. Uh, there's a piece of what I'm assuming is a gorket. Those of you that have watched my channel, you've seen me find those two pieces in different years. This is obviously a um, what I would think is a salvage pendant, so it was originally broke at the hole. And it looks like they put another hole in that and um, you know suspended it as a pendant. So yeah, definitely a fair amount of slate out there. Um, you know, I have these two celts uh, from the same site. This one's a monster. So, and yeah, and then these are all the brokes <clears throat> from that site, and I keep them all. Um, you know, I did find this one in two different um, hunts. So, who knows, you know, one of these days maybe I'll have the tip or the base of something else that I find out there. These are the three that came off the um, site adjacent to it. And I'll start keeping those separate as well. So, yeah. Well, so the corn will be grown up out there. I probably won't hunt that spot anymore uh, until fall. Um, got one more, uh, one more good, two more good fields to hunt next weekend potentially if the corn's not up too high. It got in late, so I should have a chance to get out there. So, yeah. Um, thanks for uh, tuning in. I uh, appreciate all your views and comments. Uh, and so does Pop John. So, uh, until next time, this is Commissioner Tom signing off.